Emotep, we present you the four Dogon laws of arguments. There are going to be many more laws to come, but for now, we introduce you to the four basic Dogon laws for arguments. Uh, we want you to get familiar with these laws so you can begin to create arguments that make sense. Uh, many people like to talk, but you have no arguments, so they occupy your time, and it's not product productive at all. Imhotep, we present you the four Dogon laws of arguments. There are going to be many more laws to come. But for now, we introduce you to the four basic Dogon laws for arguments. Uh, we want you to get familiar with these laws so you can begin to create arguments that make sense. Uh, many people like to talk, but they have no arguments. So they occupy your time. And it's not product productive at all. It's not that you don't want to talk. Certainly, uh, we all want to talk to our fellow human beings. But when it gets to the point that we talk about facts, then we need to be very clear regarding what facts we're talking about so that whatever it is that we do uh, present has merit. We cannot go by what we have been told, by what we have been taught, by people who had no facts to teach what they teach. So we got to return to where people who are very much in the knowing of what truth and facts are, those are the people we need to listen to, not those who aggressively force things upon other people. Isn't that what uh, democracy is all about? The ability to be able to express yourself so that people can listen to you now. If uh, people who are there want to listen to you because you manipulate your words, then you, you can attract those people. But you, if there are people who are there who want substance, they don't want to be entertained. People don't, there are people like myself. I don't want anyone to entertain me. When I talk to you, I want to hear truth out of your mouth. I want to get facts out of what you tell me. Don't entertain me with rhetoric. I walk away. And so you have these kinds of people who have their own uh, means of communicating. So that's why I'm presenting the Dogon Law of Facts. Here we go. Law 1. She who can do more efficiently will do less even more and more efficiently she who can do more efficiently we do less even more and more efficiently but he who can only do less and do it inefficiently we continue to do less and less more and more inefficiently let me repeat that. She who can do more efficiently will do less even more and more efficiently. But he who can only do less and do it inefficiently will continue to do less and less more and more inefficiently. Dogon Law 2 She who has facts we have no arguments she who has facts we have no arguments but he who has theories we initiate irrelevant arguments because he depends on philosophies to expand his deceptions and lies to in order to aggrandize his ego i repeat that she who has facts we have no arguments but he who has theories we initiate irrelevant arguments because he depends on philosophies 
to expand his deceptions and lies in order to aggrandize his ego. That's the one law number two uh, about arguments. Law number three. She who has foresight is very confident of the beauties of her past. Listen. She who has foresight is very confident of the beauty beauties of her past. But he who dwells in hindsight is very afraid of his ugly past and we tweak it poetically, ret rhetorically, biblically, theologically and copiously to attract the weaklings. I repeat that. She who has foresight is very confident of the beauties of her past. But he who dwells in hindsight is very afraid of his ugly past and we tweak it poetically, rhetorically, biblically, theologically and copiously to attract the weaklings. Look on law number four. She who is beautiful will beautify her intelligence to make her beauty a journey towards wisdom. She who is beautiful we will beautify her intelligence to make her beauty a journey towards wisdom. But he who is ugly will nullify his truth to divert from inquiries leading to his state of ugliness. I repeat, she who is beautiful will beautify her intelligence to make her beauty a journey towards wisdom. But he who is ugly will nullify his truth to divert from inquiries leading to his state of ugliness. I am Professor Momo. That's my argument. What's your argument? I'd like to hear from you. Dogon Momo. Professor Dogon. Uh, Professor Momo at DogonUniversity.com. Send me an email. Contact me. Namo.